Hello, how to solve n times n times n equals 1 over 8, solving for all values of n that satisfy this equation. n times n is n power 2 times n, this is n power 3, and this is 1 divided by 8. So I can express 1 as 1 power 3 is the same thing, while 8, I can express it as 2 power 3. Because I want the exponent to be the same, so I have n power 3 equals this is 1 power 3 divided by 2 power 3. So if you have a power c divided by b power c, this equals a divided by b or raised to the power of c. So applying that right here, I have n power 3 equals 1 divided by 2 raised to the power of 3, moving that here, I have n power 3, minus 1 divided by 2, raised to the power of 3, equals 0. Now, power 3 here, power 3 here, if you have a power 3, minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b power 2. Meaning that I'm going to have n minus 1 over 2 times n squared plus n times 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 2 equals 0. From here, I have minus n minus 1 over 2 times n squared plus this is n over 2 plus this is 1 power 2 divided by 2 power 2, and this equals 0, we are just making sure each of the terms they are raised to the power of 2, so from here we have n minus 1 over 2 times n squared, plus this is n over 2, plus 1 over 4, equals 0, 1 power 2 is 1, well, 2 power 2 is 4. Right now we can equate each of these to 0, I have n minus 1 over 2 equals 0. I have n squared plus n divided by 2 plus 1 over 4 equals 0. So for this, we have n equals 1 over 2. That is our n1. For this, we need to solve this. But before we can solve, let's actually find the LCM. So this is over 1. Let me write it here. n squared plus n divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 4 equals 0, this is over 1, the LCM here is 4, 4 divided by 1, 4, 4 times n squared, that is 4n squared, plus 4 divided by 2, 2, 2 times n, that is 2n plus 4 divided by 4, 1 times 1, we have 1 equals, this is 0 for 4, over 1. I can cross multiply, I have 4n squared, plus 2n plus 1, equals 4 times 0, that is 0. Remember this, we multiply 1 and 4 will multiply 0. So to solve this, I can make use of the formula method. I write the formula in respect to n, which is negative p plus or minus p square root of p squared minus 4 times ac, divided by 2a. 4, which is the coefficient of n squared, is my a, b is 2, which is the coefficient of n, c is 1. f is 4, b is 2, c is 1. So let's insert it right here. And equal this negative 2 plus r minus square root of b squared, 2 power 2 minus 4 times a, times c, divided by 2 times 1, 2 times a. From here, I have n equals negative 2 plus a minus square root of 4 minus 16 divided by 2. So from here, this is negative 2 plus a minus square root of 4 minus 16. This is negative 12 divided by 2. So from here, I have n equals negative 2 plus a minus this minus here, root of negative 1 times square root of 12 divided by 2, so from here I have n 
plus negative two plus one minus square root of negative one is eight times square root of twelve. I can express it as four times three divided by two. So from here I can have n equals negative two plus one minus eight times this is square root of four times square root of three divided by two. I have n equals negative 2 plus or minus 8 the square root of 4. This is 2 times root 3 divided by 2. This cancel, this cancel, this. I have n equals negative 1 plus or minus i root 3. I have two complex values for n. My n2 will be negative 1 plus i root 3. And n3 is negative 1 minus i root 3. So these are the two complex solutions, and we also have one real solution, which is n equals 1 over 2. You can decide to check. You have n equals 1 over 2. n times n times n equals 1 over 2. 1 over 2 for n. Okay, this is 1 over 8. This is the original problem. So well, n is 1 over 2, so we have 1 over 2 times 1 over 2, and 1 over 2 equals 1 over 8. 1 times 1 times 1, 1 divided by 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 equals 1 over 8. So both sides are the same, that means the solution is correct. So guys, this is how you solve this explanation problem. You can as well test for complex solutions. I'll leave it on the comment box, guys. I will really appreciate if you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I will be uploading more of these kind of videos. I will really appreciate that, guys. So thank you and see you in our next video.